Hey, what's up you guys and welcome to today's video, which is gonna be a fun one I'm gonna be talking about a part of college life that I haven't really touched on yet But I've realized it's something that I think about a lot and that I do every day So I figured I would you know give you guys my input I'm gonna be talking about staying healthy in college exercising and you know keeping off the fabled freshman 15 This is a super exciting video because it's actually gonna be a collab with a fellow college How many times am I gonna do this today? That's the <laughs> Fellow college youtuber her name is fit Sid. So before we go any further why don't we hop into her clip and see what she has to say. Hey Devon's YouTube fam, my name's Sydney, also known as Fit Sid here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in seeing my part of this collaboration, we're both doing the similar topic of like staying healthy and that kind of stuff for college, then click the video down below. I have a couple different tips. I'm actually a freshman at ASU, so Arizona State University, and I make healthy lifestyle videos and college videos. So if anyone's interested in that, and you guys wanna follow me on my socials, it's right around here. But other than that, let's just not make this intro any longer than it has to be, and let's get into it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit in this video, insert some clips of me exercising. I actually went to New York, so I was like Nate from Gossip Girl. Um, I got a jogging clip in Central Park. <laughs> and then I have some clips from me swimming at school. But basically, just it's just the idea of how to stay healthy and active while you're at college, because you know, you're moving into this new chapter of your life, but it's not necessarily you're thinking, oh, like exercise, you know? I'm just gonna talk about that for a little bit. You did have sports in high school, you didn't exercise in high school, whatever. You're moving into a new chapter, of your life. It's completely new, completely different. You don't know what to expect and that's okay. But what I will tell you is there are so many opportunities in college to stay healthy and active and fit and you just have to find one that you really like. There are tons of clubs and teams and sports that hike or that do like sword fighting or whatever you like, there's something and you can find it to be active and fit. There's Quidditch if you want to do that. For me, it was club swimming. I practiced three days a week with them. So that's an hour and a half of cardio three days a week. And then sometimes we have swim meets on the weekend. I also have a pool up, it's, it's, they call it um, recreation center, but I think it's mostly for UCLA students. So I swim there a lot. Then one thing that you don't think of is walking. If you walk to class, if you don't hop on the bus, if you do whatever, it's great exercise. Cause a lot of college campuses are very spread out. So that's another great way you can get your exercise done. Another thing, which I will say I need to improve on this year is I do not go to the gym. Um, just as a general thing, it's not something that I do. I exercise other ways, but that's something that Sydney's really good at. She goes to the gym a lot, and it's a way to you know build mass, but also stay healthy. If you don't like running outside, if you feel uncomfortable, you can run on a treadmill. If you don't like running on a treadmill, you can run outside. There are just so many different ways in college you can find it, but the most important thing is that you incorporate it into your everyday life. For me, at least, I don't like going to the gym because if I feel like I can't make it to a gym one day, I have like this anxiety that builds, like, oh, I'm not going to the gym, I'm gonna lose everything that I've gained, blah, 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 and I just do not like having that in like the back of my head. Instead, I'd rather just have like set practices for a sport that I'm doing or swim when I feel like it and have time and just kind of do that. But if you're the other way around, if you like going to the gym, if that's better for you, make it happen. You just have to find a way to incorporate it into your day. Like for me, it's the set practices. Like I have to go to the set practices, go to the set practices. Or if you'd rather like go to the gym before dinner, go to the gym after dinner, whatever you need to do, just make sure it happens. Another way that you can do that is food, obviously. You gotta make sure you stay healthy. For me at UCLA, we have awesome food, so I'm really lucky and grateful, but I've never gone to the dessert bar at school. I've never gotten anything from it. We have a lot of awesome desserts, and I know a lot of friends love it, but I've just never gone. I also focus a lot on proteins, which are like chicken and steak and seafoods and nuts, I think are protein. I don't know, Sid Sydney's also really good at all the like logistical stuff of that. And then carbs are important. For me, it's like you wanna eat a lot and work out. Make sure when you eat a lot and when you're working out are kind of together. And then otherwise, you know your body, just do your best. And again, I've talked about this a lot as well. You have a lot of time at college and you just have to find an exercise that you enjoy. Even if it's leaving campus and walking around exploring the city or you just have to find something that you really enjoy. I know a lot of people in college find hiking really awesome um, in groups. It can be a social thing, doesn't have to be alone. I love swimming. We have a beautiful outdoor 50 meter pool. I'll insert a clip here and I just love to swim and work out there and relax and think and it's one of my favorite things about UCLA. So you just have to find something that works well for you. Another thing that I'll just touch on is like the intensity of your working out. That I would say quantity over quality actually, depending on what you want to accomplish. If you want your body to be toned, there was like a one month period after college ended where you could see my abs for like the first time in my whole life. And so if you want that, you gotta push yourself. And for me, that's just setting a set and going as hard as I can. And I kind of enjoy the like burn or whatever you can call it. But if that's what you want, you gotta focus on quality of your exercise. But if you're just trying to, you know, stay healthy, 
keep yourself in good shape, keep the freshman 15 off. You just gotta make sure you're doing it. And again, that correlates to how much you're eating, how your body works, and obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, as long as I'm you know, not eating unhealthily and I'm an active person, which I am in general, you know, things tend to be fine. So in college, to wrap it up, you just kind of have to make sure that you're incorporating exercise into your everyday life, that you're eating food that you like. It doesn't have to be a diet, you know. I have plenty of ice cream, plenty of Diddy Reese, plenty of cookies, but find a balance and stick with the balance. And if you want to know more about this topic, make sure you hop on over to Sydney's channel for the other video that we put together. I did it again. <laughs> for the other video that we put together and yeah, just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys I have Iconic videos coming. I'm not kidding like very very awesome videos coming later this week. I have Oh, okay, we'll hint at it. We'll tease at it. We have the first ever Devo's videos girlfriend tag, which is super exciting you guys well, I'll leave it at that. We'll let the anticipation build. We also have my American Idol audition story time video coming soon. And then, I know it's a little bit late, but I have college DIY school supplies, which is kind of like a funny mock joke video. But um, all that is coming to you later this week. Lots of awesome content. If you're from Sydney's channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Join our little family here. I'm a good time. Also, I wanted to mention, I am 100% doing the UCLA meetup in like two weeks with all you guys that wanna come. I'm waiting to find out what your guys' schedule is, so if any of you know when there are like freshman events that I need to plan around, because I obviously don't wanna have it when you guys can't make it, but it's definitely happening, hopefully during zero week. Plan around towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the 23rd, 4th, or 5th. So keep your schedules kinda open around then. I'm hoping to probably do like between like 1 and 1.45 or in that period between 12 and 3 on one of those days. So keep your schedules open. If any of you guys have any opinions or advice on what day I should do among those, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Hope this was helpful. Just stay active, stay healthy. Keep the body good. <laughs> All you could see is like this, this nipple. Blessed. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Don't let Aaron ruin your fun today. And I'll see you guys real soon with a new video. You wanna fight the body? You wanna boot the body? You wanna muzzle the body? You better work.